Playing the piano is a good example of an activity which most people have to be taught, but some people seem to be able to learn without any formal tuition. So what happens in our brains when we learn without even being aware of it? Unconscious learning is the process of learning, but without being necessarily able to describe what it is that you've learned. Dr. Harry Witchell is a senior research fellow in physiology at the University of Bristol. He's particularly interested in using neuroscience, especially physiology and anatomy, to learn more about unconscious behavior. The experiment that we're about to work on uh, concerns being able to measure the unconscious learning that's taking place in response to a series of stimuli which are either good or bad. It does this by using a similar technique to that used in lie detectors to measure stress, monitoring the electrical conductance between two of the volunteer's fingers, which alters in response to minute changes in sweat, itself a measure of brain activity. Your goal is to win as much money as possible. You can select a card from the top of any deck you like. For every card you choose, I will pay you some money. But on some cards, you will have to pay me some money. Okay? You will find out how much you win or lose as we go along. It is impossible for you to work out when you will win or lose money. Some decks are worse than others, but no matter how much you find yourself losing, you can still win if you stay away from the worst decks. Do begin. So card one is C, and I will give you 50. Win 100. And I will give you 100. Card 63, D, win 50. As the experiment progresses, without being aware of it, the volunteer John learns unconsciously that C and D give smaller payouts more frequently, and that decks A and B can often yield high payouts, but are more risky. When he decides to take a risk and go for deck B, he becomes anxious just at the thought of it, and this stress is registered on the computer. John has a very strong response because card 98 is a punishment card. It's losing 1,250. But what's interesting is his anticipatory response. So even before he actually chooses the card, we already see here that there's some kind of worry right there. And he's actually already just anticipating turning over this deck, which he had actually abandoned for some time. This response, is what you would might call a somatic marker. That is, from the body, there is something that you can feel or you can actually detect physiologically as well uh, in terms of he's learned an association that this deck is bad. What this shows is that we learn at an unconscious level just associating good and bad with the stimuli around us. And this unconscious learning can actually precede our conscious learning or our ability to describe what it is that's going on. If you like, it shows that we have hunches, that that's our natural way of learning about things, and that this can occur very early in the process. It doesn't require that the, a person or even a student be able to describe what it is that they've learned. They will know it at some level.